Christine Niles. Today's Thursday, February 19th, 2015. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A financial report is showing the Cologne, Germany Archdiocese has amassed nearly $4 billion. The wealthiest diocese in Germany, most of its money comes from stocks, funds, and company holdings. $650 million comes from the state tax paid by the 2 million Catholics living in and around Cologne. The report was published on Ash Wednesday in an attempt at greater transparency by the archdiocese. An African prelate is confirming the existence of a terrifying Western agenda Pope Francis has warned against. Our own Ryan Fitzgerald has the story. Pope Francis recently urged Filipinos to resist what he calls ideological colonization. He's referring to a Western agenda hell-bent on spreading the culture of death around the world, imposing things like abortion, contraception, feminism, divorce, and sodomy on non-Western societies. The Philippines got a taste of it in 2012 with the passage of its so-called Reproductive Health Bill, ushering legal contraception into the Catholic nation. The bill was funded by Western population control agencies like the United Nations Population Fund and the United States Agency for International Development. Last week, Ghana's Archbishop Charles Palmer Buckle confirmed the same thing is happening in his country, complaining he could never get support from the UN when he was running health facilities because he, quote, didn't have the right positions on gender and so on. And now, another African prelate is calling out the West. Bishop Emmanuel Badejo of Nigeria has revealed that the U.S. would only assist his country with Islamic terrorist group Boko Haram if it embraces sodomy and contraception. The bishop says, I take it all back to the agenda of population control. That's my theory. Anything that can reduce the population. He goes on, stating, The United States actually said it would help Nigeria with Boko Haram only if we modify our laws concerning homosexuality, family planning, and birth control. He says what Pope Francis warns against is a clear reality in Africa, and it's threatening their cultural values. Bishop Badejo finally exclaims, If the West cherishes freedom for gays and homosexual unions and abortion and contraception, suppose Africans are not wired that way. For the African, life is sacred and that the world can watch hundreds of people dying in Nigeria every day and look away, it shows that even what we call Western civilization today is sick. I'm Ryan Fitzgerald, Church Militant Headlines, Detroit. Please pray for all bishops combating this evil agenda. A group of gay activists were given VIP seats yesterday at the Ash Wednesday General Audience in Rome. Sister Janine Gramick, co-founder of the dissident group New Ways Ministry, along with around 50 gay activists, were given tickets to sit at the front, something they'd been denied in the past. They were named on the Vatican list of attendees as, quote, a group of lay people accompanied by a sister of Loretto. Pope Francis, however, did not publicly mention or address the group. Homosexual activists will continue to protest New York's St. Patrick's Day Parade, even after officials already agreed to let a pro-sodomy group march. Last fall, OUT at NBC Universal, a group of homosexuals with a broadcasting corporation, received permission to march as the first openly gay organization in the Irish Saints celebration. But gay activists are saying what they really want is a group of Irish American homosexuals, not just NBC Universal's gay organization. New York's Cardinal Dolan is expected to be Grand Marshal of the parade, while an online petition requesting he avoid the scandal now has almost 3,000 supporters. See a resource page to sign. Assisted suicide in Oregon has increased by 44 percent. This according to an Oregon state government report. A total of 105 people committed state-sanctioned suicide last year, as compared to only 16 when suicide was first legalized in Oregon back in 1998. Most of the individuals last year were elderly, and at least a quarter of them suffered from depression. Doctors attended suicides in only 14 cases, revealing major lack of oversight and the potential for abuse of the law. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a conflict of interest at the Vatican. Remember to share our headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.